Just just looking back at everything, I think there's a lot of games that we um, we, we could have won. Uh, very close games uh, for sure. So I think the performance, you, you don't want to say it was negative because you want to look, you know, wins, loss, columns. But if you think about the overall performances of the games, it's like, wasn't bad. You know, like I said, you raise the wins, loss column of, 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 of the game and you just break it down of how it's supposed to be played. And I think it was fine. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a biggest critic. Uh, look in the mirror first and look in the mirror all, all the time. And I don't think I uh, put my best foot forward. I don't think I performed my best throughout the games. You know, I had a couple spurts where I was okay, but even then, you know, I feel like I could have been better. Um, but as a player, you know, we always, you know, reevaluate ourselves, look at ourselves, see the progression moving forward and uh, try to get better. My, my first game uh, in Perth, just that NBL environment, you know, meeting the guys, it was the most kind of emotion I felt throughout the entire time. Like, okay, it's first game, you know, going back to play in Perth, meeting the guys, like it was so much, you know, coming off fresh off the plane. I just think that entire moment, those first couple days back, uh, back in Australia was, was my most exciting, you know. First year you coming out, you compete every game. Most expansion clubs, it's kind of like a wash for them. But I think if any other team would probably give a brief overview of us, it'll be like, you got to come to play when you, when, you, when you play Phoenix. When you see that team in green, it's like, well, we, we got to come to play because they'll beat us for sure. So uh, I think moving forward, is sky's the limit for it, you know. You got a great, like I said earlier, got a great staff. Everybody is, is, is making the right decisions and the right moves moving forward. So, so after the game against um, Sydney, where I went 0 for 8, a fan messaged me on uh, Instagram and were like, oh my God, I love the way you play. You had a great game. Thanks for being a part of the Phoenix. <laughs> you know, the community, those, like, sometimes a lot of players don't really see them and acknowledge them, but those messages right there show the community is behind you because clearly, you go over eight in the game. It's it's not really your best game, and, and you know that message kind of meant a lot. So the community's been great, fans have been great, and I think they have a really strong fan base moving forward. Terry Armstrong, you know, just training with him each and every day. You just see his ability, you see his um this potential, and it's like, Jesus, this this guy can be really good. So uh, Terry and his maturity at his age too has really been something that stood out to me. So um, yeah, hats off to him. I mean, everybody knows Mitch is a great guy, high character, man, and, and it's amazing. And the funny thing is, he has two personalities. He has an American personality and he has an Australian personality. And I'll tell you this, the Australian one's 100 times better. Um, because, you know, when we was uh, in Utah together, he was trying to, I want to say, figure it out, kind of find his way, learn the way the American culture is, and he was he was amazing then once he you know kind of settled in and got a little comfortable but when i when i got out here with him in melbourne man i just was able to really see him open up and just see who he really is and man he's he's phenomenal that's my guy that's my brother man uh for me just enjoy this time being a father you know it's my first time uh so i'm gonna take some time off from basketball just kind of really embrace everything what it's about you know not worrying about practices or the next game or worrying about you know scouting reports and stuff like that. So just kind of want to ease back from basketball for, uh, you know, next couple months and just enjoy being a father, learning what it's about in the early stages and then uh, get back to it. So um, it's exciting for me.